Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today we're looking at a fan favorite, Nerd Wallet. Um, we are near our resistance. I just want to see if there's any gaps to fill higher. Does not look like it. Okay, so uh, let's look at the bigger picture right now. So we can see uh, we are having a hard time staying above this $16.19 resistance. Um, we almost came and touched the $17.86. I mean, it's not too late. We could see the stock come up and touch it. Um, we do see a lot of purchases down here, those green candles. The stock literally went over 100% in less than a year. How freaking amazing. The strength is, looks like it's got a little, little angle down there. It's at 52. Money flow is kind of stagnant. Relative momentum is curling up. So we could just be getting started. Um, looking at our financial data points here, Let's go ahead and just take a peek here. Earnings per share, it looks, I want to say flat-ish. You know, we've had, we had two good court, we had two good years, and then it's been negative since. But look at this ramp up right here in sales. That's beautiful. Shares outstanding. In 2019, they had 65 million shares. In 2023, there's 76 million. So about 10 million shares added over time, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and do a our calculation to see what the price target could be. Uh, so we're going to take the 1 billion 230 million market cap here. We're going to remove 11 million 800,000. They are not profitable, just echoing that. And they make 599 million 400,000 dollars in sales. Going on down, going on down. Okay. They have 102 million in cash. That's their all time high in cash. Good for them. 102 million, 500,000. Total debt is 6 million. That's nothing. Okay. Uh, really quickly total assets, 418. Total liabilities, 51. That's almost a 10x. That is amazing. You rarely see that. This is beautiful. Good freaking job. That's amazing. Okay, uh, we're gonna take this and divide it by our shares float, which is 36 million, 100,000. Potential stock price of $53, that is humongous. Uh, the highest price targets we have are $40, 35, 30, 30. Not too far out of the question. We are getting into some heavy resistance here. Um, I don't remember why I drew this blue line, but whatever. Uh, institutions own 32%. Let's see if they have increased that. Uh, this is older data, by the way, on Finviz. So this data coming from this website is gonna be way more up to date. <clears throat> so institutions own 40%, which is about an 8% increase, which is fantastic. You could see uh, it's getting back to the all-time highs of institutional ownership. T Row price added to a new position of 2.3 million shares. Institutional Venture sold out of their shares. Vanguard increased their position. FMR increased their position. BlackRock started a position. So great. Uh, we see a lot of greens. One red, three, four, five, six red, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of greens. I think we're seeing a lot more greens than reds. And those are positions initiated and closed. So uh, I like Nerd Wallets. I think if you are a long-term holder here, um, waiting, I'd want to wait and see. I'd want to see the stock price come back down and touch $10, $11. That would be ideal. Um, however, if the stock closes the end of the month at around $17, we might be breaking getting ready to break all time highs. So that's my nerds update. I've done a several nerds updates. Um, again, it's just gonna tell, it's gonna be the end of the month is when we're gonna watch the stock. We're gonna wanna watch the stock. 
Again, $17 is our sweet target, sweet spot. If it closes below this resistance, I would want to wait. Yeah. Anyway, if you made it this far, consider hitting the like button, consider hitting the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.